Hey fellow crafters, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful friendship card idea and as a bonus I'm going to show you how to make a matching envelope. Oh, I'm going to be using my Beauty of Friendship stamp set, my lovely time-worn type embossing folder, love this one. I'm going to be using my Meadows dies and the beautifully penned designer series paper which you can earn for free. I'm also going to use, for the first time ever, my tailor-made tags dies. So let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Terry from nutsaboutstamping.com. I love sharing project ideas and techniques for rubber stamping, scrapbooking, and paper crafting with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Oh, I can't wait to show you this dynamic duo. Let's get going. I'm going to begin by creating some elements that are going to add visual interest on the front of my card. First thing I'm going to do is create two tags using the tailor-made tags dies, one out of basic white and one out of basic gray. Then what I'm going to do is die cut using the Meadows dies, one from polished pink and one from basic black. And at the same time, I'm going to create and die cut a phrase. The phrase comes from the Beauty of Friendship stamp set. This does come as a bundle or you can just purchase the stamp set separately. And I've chosen the thinking of you phrase because that's the kind of card I want to create. Of course, you can create the kind of card you want by choosing the phrase that matches the occasion you need. So I'm going to ink up the phrase using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm going to stamp it down on this piece of basic white, and then it's going to be a phrase that I will die cut. So let's move these out of the way, and I'll do one pass through using my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then I'm going to have to do a second pass through because I'm creating two tags and two flowers. So I'll put the tag on here. Maybe I'll start with the basic gray. Put the tag on. I've got my phrase and the frame, which comes from the Meadows dies, by the way. And then I will do a black die like so. Let me just slide this and readjust. And then what I'll do is I'll put the top cutting pad on and then run it through. Just want to get it nice and straight. I think that'll work. All right. Yep, the phrase slipped. So I will stop the video and I'll do a second pass through. So I'll just um, put this aside and I'll do it on my second pass. I think I was trying to do too much and my uh, cutting pads are a little warped. So there is the tag and here is the first um, meadow die. And so now what I'll do is a second pass through with polished pink and my phrase and my basic white for the second tag. Back in a moment. I have my pieces die cut and ready to use on the front of my card, but before I do that, I want to take my basic white tag and I want to emboss it using the beautiful Time Worn Type 3D embossing folder. So I'm going to pop my tag inside my folder, like so. It's not really important to worry about getting it too, too straight because of all of the elements that are in the, in the folder itself. And I'm going to run it through my uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine as well. And let me show you Look at that. I, I hope you can see it on the video. It's just, it adds such a beautiful textured element to the tag. You can use this embossing folder on card fronts or on layers for your cards. 
and it creates this really lovely textural element that I think is just fabulous. All right, so next thing to do is get set up and we'll start working on the card front. Then I'll show you how to create the matching envelope. What I want to do next is take these two wild flowers and I want to combine them together to add a pop of color. I didn't want my wild flower to be black all the way through from top to bottom, which is why I die cut a second one using the polished pink. So what I'm going to do is take my polished pink um, wild flower and I'm going to cut off the bud and the flower itself and I'm going to adhere it right on top of the basic black wild flower so that the whole thing is black and pink. So what I'm gonna do is bring in my multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm gonna put some liquid glue on the pink piece and then lay it down on top of the black piece so that it completely covers the black underneath. You could also do a shadow effect, I guess, by having a little bit of the black showing, but I'm just going to leave mine perfectly on top, the pink perfectly on top of the black. Now, obviously I'm gonna to have to set this aside to dry for a few seconds. And then while it's drying, let's go ahead and create the card front. Okay, I'll set this aside. My card base is going to be uh, basic white. I've cut it 11 by four and a quarter, and I'm going to score it at the five and a half or just fold it in half and then burnish it with my bone folder. So we get a lovely crease like so. Now I have a piece of the beautifully penned designer series paper that I'm going to use to cover the entire card front. Now, if you haven't seen the beautifully penned paper, it is a product that we're offering for free with a qualifying order during Stampin' Up's celebration promotion, which is August and September of this year. So the way that celebration works is that for every $50 order or 60 euros, if you live in some of the countries in Europe, you can choose one of the products from this catalog for free. And there are some really fun products that you can choose from, one of them being the beautifully penned designer series paper. Now, I love this paper pack. I've used it on other projects. If you want to see another video using this paper pack, then after this video is over, why don't you watch this one? This paper has a watercolored look and it's got designs and florals combined. So depending on your artistic, I guess, eye or how you want to use it, um, this is a lovely choice you get several sheets of this designer series paper. So it'll last you a long time. And the best part is, of course, that it's free. So I've chosen one of the designs out of the beautifully penned paper, and I'm going to use it, as I said, to completely cover my card front. So let's do that first. And then, just lay that down and get it nice and straight. And then what I want to do is I want to add my tags and I want to have the gray tag just peeking out a little bit underneath the white tag. So I think I will layer it like that. So again, I'm gonna take my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to angle the gray, the basic gray tag, and then the basic white tag. I think I'll angle it like so. And I'm going to layer it flat. And I'm going to line up the holes in the tag like so. Now I want to bring in my pop of color, my little flower, and 
I think what I'll do is actually I'm going to adhere this flat as well. And then I'm going to add my phrase, there we go, on top. And to add my phrase, I think I'll use some Stampin' Dimensionals just to give it a bit of lift. Well, I think I'm going to put my tag or my meadow flower, wild flower over like so. Now I want to add my phrase to the front of the card. So I'm going to use two Stampin' Dimensionals and pop up my phrase. So it adds just a little bit of visual interest to the front of my card. Just peel off the tails and there we go. Now, at this point, you could add some ribbon, you could add some other embellishments like gems or jewels. Your choice, because it's your card, you can finish it off the way that you think suits best. I might add some in-color gems. Um, there is the polished pink gems, which might add some nice glitter or visual interest, additional visual interest on the front of the card. So now that we've got the card made, how about if we make a matching envelope? And it's so easy. Let me show you how. To make the matching envelope, I'm going to use the exact same design that I used on my card front to create a matching envelope. So you want to start with a piece of designer series paper that's 12 inches by six inches. That's the size you need to make a matching envelope for the size of card that I just created. And then it's super simple to create the envelope. You bring in your scoring tool. I have my Simply Scored. You could use your paper trimmer if it has a scoring blade on it. And you want to score from either side the long ways. You want to score at three quarters of an inch. So you can do it that way and then you can turn it all the way around and score again at three quarters of an inch. And that's going to create the side of our envelope. And then you're going to turn it, and on one end, you're going to score at two inches. That will create the top flap of the envelope. And then from the other end, you're going to score at four and a quarter inches, and that will create the bottom flap. That's all the scoring you have to do. Super simple. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take your bone folder and you want to burnish on the score lines. There's my top flap and here's my bottom flap. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to fold these side score lines in. So you can choose what side of design you want to be the outside of your envelope and what you want to be the inside of your envelope. This is what I've decided for my particular preference, like so. Now what you wanna do is you want to cut off these little tabs. So let me show you how to do that. You can use your paper trimmer. I'm going to use my paper snips and I'm just going to cut down till I get to the intersection score line. Then I'm going to turn it and I'm just going to angle up a little bit to cut that little piece off. Let me just a little bit more, there we go. So let me show you. You're gonna cut down and then you're gonna angle it a little bit. It gives it a nicer visual look for your envelope. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. I'm going to cut down and then I'm going to just trim in. And there we've got the top flap and the sides that are going to come in. I'm gonna do the same from the bottom. Here's my four inch, four and a quarter inch, sorry, score line. So I want to start from the bottom and I'm going to trim up and cut this tab off. Okay, so I've cut to the score line, and then I'm just going to angle it and cut that piece off. Then I'm gonna do the same from the other side, 
And then our envelope is pretty much done. All we have to do is adhere it together. So I've cut up and then I'm just going to angle in a little bit and pop that piece off. And there we go. The envelope is ready. Here's the bottom and here's the top. So let's put it together. What I'm going to do is open up the bottom flap and I'm going to apply some multi-purpose liquid glue, keeping in mind the width, right? So I want to make sure that my glue doesn't spill over to the center of my envelope or my envelope will be sealed shut, which we don't want, okay? You could also, if you have a corner rounder, you could round here and round here and then round these top tabs or the top flap, but I'm happy with it as it is. So I'm just gonna set this aside to dry for a couple of minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like with the card inside. Back in a minute. All right, I think it's dry enough for me to slide the card in so I can show you what the final project looks like. So here's my card. I did decide to add some jewels. I just love a little bling. And I'm going to slide it inside the envelope and then I can fold the top flap over so that it just slides in and out like a charm. Isn't that just so fun? I, I just love this idea, and I can see that I will be using lots of leftover designer series paper to make matching envelopes for my cards in the future. Now, you might be wondering, okay, well, how do you seal it? So you can do it a multitude of ways. You could put a little line of glue across, and you could actually seal it shut, which is one way. The other way is that the tailored made tags dies do come with these little... Um, they look like grommets, they're not grommets, but you could actually create these little circles and I'm just gonna try and visualize it. Put a circle here and put a circle here and then you could use some baker's twine and wind it so that if you were going to hand this card to someone, then they would just unwind it, open up the flap and then take the matching card out. There we go. I mean, I'm sure there's other ways that you could figure out. I believe that there's some kind of special glue that is like an envelope glue that you could use and apply to seal the envelope shut. It's your choice, and I will let you decide how you best uh, want to have your envelope sealed shut. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for all of the pieces for this project, head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. I also invite you to subscribe to my free newsletters. I send two newsletters a week, and in each one, you'll see a project idea that you won't see anywhere else. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you purchase from, I would love to be your demonstrator of choice. I'll link to my online store under this video in case you want to earn this paper for free by adding some crafting pro products to your craft room. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. I hope you'll try this fabulous idea someday soon. Bye for now.